your and your 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 a phrase said only by New Yorkers. Your hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Damo, and today we will be looking at the Mac. Tiana Taylor collab. Are you ready? Because I know I am. We will be looking at um, the Mac and Tiana Taylor collab. Um, it's been a while since I was kind of excited to buy from Mac. And it's been a while since I've actually bought products from Mac. Um, so I was like, yeah, I got to get this. Especially after the whole, after Rihanna's collab. I was like, yeah, there's certain people you just don't want to miss. And Tiana Taylor's was one of them. So let's dive right in. Let's start off with her whole collection as a whole. On Max website, it says um, Tiana Taylor's old school favorites get a brand new neon beat. Put your personal spin on four shades, each of limited edition lipstick, lip glass, and a lip pencil. The lip pencils are not really limited edition, it's just the green packaging. So, whatever. Made to remix and match for a full lineup of tailor-made um, looks. Or get into the real star of the show. An exclusive, never-before-seen mineralized skin finish. All wrapped in 90s neon packaging. Alright, so as far as the um, mineralized skin finish goes, I mean... I don't really... I just be picking them up every now and then. Like, I got gold deposit a while ago. Um, this is, yeah, I got gold deposit and yeah, that's really it. So I don't really pick, like I have the mineralized skin finish for my kit, not really for me. So I'm like, whatever, I'll pick it up. Cool. All right. So first we will start off with the green packaging. Um, the green packaging was the more like brown nudes. Okay, so uh, the lip glass is called But Ain't Got No Manners, and the lipstick is called I Got a Man, right? Um, the packaging is cute. That's, that's another reason I was like, let me get it. It's cute. It's cute. So let's try it on. I am going to line my lips with my chestnut liner. I'm going to line with chestnut. Being that this was in the collection as well. So I'll show you it with the, um, the lipstick by itself. And then I'll show you with the gloss. Okay, so chestnut is not that dark on me. That's cool though. This is what it looks like. Okay, so it's kind of a brownish color. Let's put it on. Alright. So... I'll definitely I'll probably use like a darker liner this is this is cute I got a man is supposed to be a dark cocoa a brownie nude um it's cute I don't know if in terms of nudes I like my nudes a little bit lighter so I don't know if I would I'll probably put like a light lip gloss on it if I were to, you know, when I use this. But let's see with the lip gloss now. My memory card didn't have no more memory, so we had to kind of. But here is um. I got a man and the lip matching lip glass 
but in Gano manners together. Okay? It's cute. Probably wouldn't be my first pick of nudes. Um, it does give me 90s, though. I probably would use, like, maybe, like, next time I should use a darker uh, lip, liquid liner. I'm like liquid liner. A different lip liner. Maybe if I use Night Moth, I will probably like it a little bit better. You know what? Let me use, let me, let me try. Yep, I think I prefer it more with the with Night Moth liner. Just the because it's, that's the type of like I feel like this makes it pop just a little bit more on my skin tone. On someone who's a little bit lighter, it might you know do justice with chestnut. But to me, I think I like it a little more with Night Moth. But it's cute. It's cute. I will wear it during the fall season. Not of course. It's, I don't think this is one of those summer things. But it's cute. It's really cute. Time to go to the red lips. Now, I don't usually wear red lips unless, like, it, like, unless I'm wearing a certain outfit and I'm just in the mood to wear a red lip, right? So, I'm kind of excited. And plus, listen, after Riri Wu, after seeing that, I was so tight. So, I was like, let me, let me get this let me get it and when i looked up other youtube reviews i was like oh this looks very beautiful very beautiful so i was like all right y'all i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready okay now um the the reds are in the pink packaging the lipstick is called a rose in harlem Ooh. and then the lip glass is called Tens across the board, and baby, that's what I am. Tens all across the board. Looks, personality, body, body, baby. Oh my god, eight and a half. But you get what I'm saying. Tens across the board. That's what I am. Period. Okay. So it comes in the pink neon packaging, and um. Let's try it out. So I have my Night Moth lip liner. Okay. Uh, I will try and sharpen this, but I don't got much more to sharpen. So I just make do. I do need a new one. I'm playing games. Um. So yes, let me line. Lip, red lips, you gotta be, you know, very strategic. So my lips are lined. All right, y'all ready? So this is what it looks like. Okay, can y'all see? Why is it? Oh, because my face. Yeah. All right. Here it is. It is. Oops. My iPad. It's described as a bright candy apple red. Now, MAC usually has good reds. Ruby Boo, it was mad dry. But it was still cute. And there's a few other reds that were really good. But, you know. We, we got into um, the day and age of liquid lipstick. So, then... We just started going towards those. But here it is. <laughs> Do y'all see this? This is really popping. Like. 
And on me, I'm usually nervous because a lot of times reds do not like the reds are not the like their undertone be funny. So don't be looking as bright as it would on somebody with a lighter complexion. So this is this is really popping. Let me tell you, if you missed out on this collection, that's on you. Cause baby, these lips are giving me bombshell. Mm. Come on now, you see these finger waves? Done by my cousin. Follow her at the hair mechanic on Instagram, okay? She will get you right if you're in New York, period. But these lips, honey, honey. Ooh. Nah. This is Papa. Cute. <laughs> I'm cute. Yeah, something's wrong with me. But I'm cute, alright? And then the lip glass, the matching lip glass, which is called Tens Across the Board, like I said before. I'm gonna put this on. And I let me tell you, when it comes to glossy reds, I really am not a fan. I don't tend to not I don't navigate towards that because I just feel like it looks mad corny like I just be so disgusted so let's see how this goes right Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Come on now. Let's let's just get into this. I'm gonna go. Back over. But it's right here. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Like this is not alright. So the glossy, the glossy red is definitely, it's going to be one of those things where I really have to be feeling it. Like, but the red lipstick itself, I would definitely reach for that a lot. Um, this is really nice. This is really nice, y'all. This is really gorgeous. I think this one is my favorite out of the two that I got. I didn't really care to get the, the purplish one because... When it comes to like those types of colors, I prefer a matte finish. So I I wasn't even gonna waste my money and get that. It's cute, just not for me. Um, but this one is definitely my favorite out of the two. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this one on. I'm gonna keep it on for the rest of the video. And then last but not least, I have um the the um mineralized skin finish. This is what it is. I don't know if y'all gonna really be able to say, see the true color. But this is what it looks like. Um, it's gold with bronze accents. That's what they say. Um, okay, let's just, we'll try it out and see. Looking a little ashy. I'm not gonna hold you. Put it on my nose. Okay. Okay, this is not bad, actually. Then I'll put it on the balls of my cheeks. Yeah, th this is all right. So with this, you just you have to use it in moderation. But it's definitely this is cute. It def it works for the dark skinned ladies. It doesn't look too ashy. Yeah, you just really wanna when you use this one, just. Use a little bit and then do it just on the balls of your cheek. So you could get that nice little glow on you. And you smile, you see? This side versus this side. Now I'm going to do the other side. But it's cute. And you want to, yeah, just be very strategic in how you place it. I'd say don't go too high. Because then um, you will see the ash. Like, you really don't need a lot, y'all. It's just cute. It's definitely better than I expected. But yes, you want to be very light with the hand with this because it, it will look 
very ashy very quickly yeah this is cute I like it I do I must say let me blend because being that my nose is not small it's cute I like it Nah, I need to stop making this face but since I have put everything on pretty much I picked up um the fix plus from the the bronze the bronze light collection and they this is it I like shaking it and then watching it like do all of this see how pretty it looks so I'm just gonna spray my face is it okay I forgot to spray my face oh yeah Ooh. Okay. So before my camera cut off, I was gonna tell y'all that um that the that but ain't got no manners. I can't say it properly because it just does not make sense. But I'm pretty sure it's from a song or whatever that Tiana has done, so I'm not even gonna knock it. But I would definitely use these on top. This this is a good lip topper. Um but this combo right here, baby. A1. A1. So and the um I saw that this was still in stock. It's the I personally think it is dark skin girl friendly. At first I was a, a little afraid and I thought I would look ashy because a lot of times these things tend to look ashy on people of my skin complexion and darker but i actually really enjoyed it so i say you all should pick it up pick it up don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment your favorite combo down below okay stay tuned for next week's video later